Andy, this, the Sunblade 8000, how would you describe this? This is a big box. Well, it is a little bigger than other people's blade servers, but there's a very good reason for that. Now tell me, because Scott said you never design for one year. You design for two, for four, for six years out. So that means this box is going to be changed over, year, over the years as processors change, as memory changes, as I.O. changes, as cooling changes. Tell me the pathway for this box, the Sunblade 8000, over the next five years. So when we looked at the technology roadmap for CPUs, what we saw was, you know, with dual core today, quad core next year, octal core day after, you know, who knows how many cores next. And what happens is the power goes up when there's more cores on the chip. So this box actually has enough power and cooling to power chips that we expect to have in 2010. So that means when you buy it today, by 2010, you still are able to use the existing power with the new processors right, we anticipate. Right, you can mix and match, you know, all the new. It's basically designed for customer investment protection. Tell me about the design for power and for cooling. Yeah, these are two very important topics in every data center today. People have tremendous problems cooling and powering high performance systems. So what's remarkable about the Sunblade 8000 is that the blade is more power efficient than other four socket blades in the market. It only consumes between 60 and 700 watts of power per blade. The second point is that on a uh, rack basis, it's actually less power dense than competing solutions in the market, which, is, which makes it much easier to cool uh, than some of the competing pro uh, products that cram even more power into a denser amount of space. So it was really designed for, for great power and cooling, and you know, we don't expect any of these systems to ever catch on the fire. Now what do we have here? Well, we have 10 blades, and I have one of these blades right here. Oh. So on this plate we have a four socket dual core, so this is eight cores of AMD Optron. Uh, we have hot swap uh, SAS disk drives front accessible. We have 16 DIMMs, uh, which is a total of 32 going to uh, 64 gigabytes uh, later this year. And you know power converters and I/O, but this is basically um, twice uh, the size of uh, our competition blades, and we have more than twice as much stuff on this blade, and we have more than twice as much power to power all this stuff on the blade. So again, this has substantially more uh, CPU power, memory, and I/O than any blade server on the market today. And so this is an enterprise blade. This runs all the major, this runs Oracle, this runs SAP. Yeah, this you, can, you can do pretty much anything on this blade, but it's really designed for data center consolidation. Basically, if you use either Solaris containers or Xen or VMware, you need enough cores and enough memory to, to maintain the footprint for all these applications. So if you have, say, 10 applications, each one needs three gigabytes each, you better got 32 gigabytes on the blade, and you can get this on this blade right here. Okay, so let's put this now aside. Now tell me, the I.O. in this box, with that amount of compute power, you must have massive I.O. You need a ton of I.O. So if you look at the back of this, uh, what we have is we have the industry standard PCI Express modules. So this is a new form factor that was standardized by the PCI um, interest group, which is essentially the same as a PCI card, except it's hot pluggable, meaning you can hot swap this, pull it in and out, you don't have to open up the box. So there's two of these per blade, and this can support 10 gig, you know, four 8 gigabit fiber channel, multiple ports. Then we have four- These go to each blade? Yes, each, each blade has two of these, okay? Individually addressed, okay. okay. Then there's four network expansion modules, the, these pick up the signals from all the blades, and these will support Ethernet, Fiber Channel, InfiniBand, whatever is next. And then there is two chassis management cards, which are redundant, and the rest is cooling and the uh, power supply cords. So in this network I.O., what's the flexibility in these? Okay, well, one innovation of um, the system is that the back plan is just PCI Express. So what happens is we pick up the PCI Express signals here from all the blades, and we can, as a result, uh, aggregate uh, virtual I.O. On, on this form factor on and multiplex directly down to a blade or perform traditional switching functions. But we're not relying on integrating uh, LAN switching in the box as some other people have done, which really is just a, a bottleneck, you know, trying to get a lot of blades through a, a few gigabits out. So this is really designed to allow a scalable solution where each blade gets a lot of I.O. 
who are the customers for this? Who should buy this immediately? Well, this is great for data center consolidation, right? This replaces a whole rack of traditional rack servers in a much more robust, hot pluggable, hot swappable system. And uh, each of these blades is the equivalent of a V40 system, which is a 3U box. You know, we're down to about a 1U form factor here. And uh, again, everything is hot swappable here and, you know, totally redundant. So it's a very, very robust platform. So the Sunblade 8000 moves us, in a sense, in the blade world into the world in the past that has been dominated by the rack-mounted machines. Yeah, and it is what people think of the Tier 2 of the data center. So, you know, for Tier 1, this is a little too big, but Tier 2, which is the application servers, the database servers, there's a lot of, this is a very good match for that space. Is there anything else that we should make people aware of about this? I think the important thing to keep in mind is that, you know, Blade servers were originally positioned for virtualization and consolidations, but there really hasn't been a Blade on the market until today that can actually do this effectively. Thank you very much. You're welcome.